Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of A Rise of the Third Power. Last time we left off, we made it over here, got ambushed, and narrowly escaped with our lives. So that's fun, but we're in Talindra now, so we got that going for us, I suppose. I think I'll ask the front desk if they've seen the princess. That's through the front door. Uh, so I can't- you're not gonna let me go anywhere? I really should introduce Ariel to the high priest before we leave. Uh-huh, and if I could try to go through- yeah, that's the front desk. Okay, Reyna. Let's go, then. Let us go. Hello, Sister Reyna. Is there something I can help you with? There is, in fact. Did you happen to see a woman with bright red hair come through here? Oh, you mean Pri Princess Ariel? She looked upset and said she wanted to sit someplace quiet, so I took her up to the balcony. I see. Thank you, Initiate. King Horatio wanted to take Talindra to the Great War in the Great War, but Tariq rebuffed him. I'm certainly glad it did. Talindra should be independent. Seriously need to learn how to teleport around like that hooded person. I know, right? Anime nothing personnel teleports behind you, kid powers are busted. Reyna. Hey, uh, are you sure you're okay? Casting a shield strong enough to stop a musket ball is awfully draining. I just need a moment to catch my breath. I'll be okay. If you say so. Alright. Rowan's worried. Well, well, well. If it isn't Miss Reyna, the high priest's favorite little toadstool. <laughs> Good day, Miss Carrie. I see you're full of energy as usual. Certainly bring it out in me. You just keep your toading to yourself. Okay, fine. You hate me. I get it. What on earth were those Arc Arcadian soldiers doing here? By the light, what were those Arcadians thinking? This is sacred ground. Alright, what's through here? Oh my god, this place is large. Okay, balcony was where you left uh, the princess, so we're gonna avoid that for now, I suppose. This temple is so big, it takes forever to clean. Ugh, I should have stayed at the little temple in Takara. I wonder if it's even still there. Pirate's life for me, 200 years of history. The Anglic Ang Ang Angelico question. Almost said Anglico. Uh, the price of independence. Okay, cool. I wonder if, uh, Arinathan was even real. Sounds like a myth to me. I realize I said, uh, last time, Aaron, I'm like, wasn't that the name of that character? Their name was Aden. 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 A-D-E-N. I don't know. It just seems like all of Rin is going to hell lately. What is this? What was this little drive through window you have over here, and why can't I get back there? Weird. Okay, so that's just links over here. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Hello, squirrel. I can't talk to you. Or pet you. Alright. Oh, is it a confessional? Take your time. Rest here. Commune with Imperia. Yeah, I think it's a confessional. Or just like a worship place. Cardinal Majorin has been acting a little strange lately. Like he's hiding something. Oh man, is it gonna be the corrupt religious figure? God. Every JRPG. Never trust the church, man. Except in Dragon Quest, I guess. The Dragon Quest church is pretty chill. Honey, shush. Arcadian soldiers are scary, not cool. The soldiers are so cool. <laughs> of course the kid would be like, That was awesome! Well, they also got their asses handed to us by us, kid. So, uh, what's that make us even more awesome? Soldiers are lucky they left when they did. I was about to bust them up. War may rage all around us, but we must never lose our faith. In the end, it is all we have. This is true. You make a good point. Music here is very nice, and yes, it is a lot of it because it has a piano, and I really like piano. I'm biased, okay? Last stand, Admiral Leo Alrin's desperate defense of Riverton. Colonialism. Angelico as subjects of Tariq. Sorry, kitty, you can't sit with me right now. I apologize. You're probably going to try anyway, though. I wonder if Seer and Thea is still bitter over not being allowed to annex us. Yep, Kitty's coming up here. Luckily, it's just my, my smallest one, so I think he can squeeze under the mic and everything. If you're quiet, you can you can, you can can co-commentate with me, okay? Well, I guess if you're quiet, you're not, you're not commentating, but... If you're quiet, you can sit in my lap, okay? Little baby boy. He just wants to hang out with me. I know, Daddy's been recording a while. Is there anything in here? Man, there's nothing to steal from this church. How disappointing. Wait, what was that? 
Oh, I thought I thought there was like a treasure chest hiding behind the pillar or something. I think my eye was playing tricks on me. I'm getting paranoid. I'm seeing treasure chests everywhere. I'm that addicted to stealing. Ooh, side quests. Okay. Lindra, an independent state or property of Sirenthea. Captain Arcoli, Master Hazim, and the heroes of the Eastern Alliance. Desert delicacies, how to use coffee and everything. Sudden rise of the Noriskov family. Okay. Their souls should be given back to the stars as Renathan would have wanted. No, they should be spared, left to their lives in the sunlight. That is what Renathan would have wanted. Uh huh. Well, don't look at me, they're rats. Who cares how we get rid of them? Anyway, we got a visitor. Sorry, kitty, you cannot mess with the mic. That is a no go. Oh, Miss Reyna, perhaps you could help us. Rats? Bah, she's a stellar priestess. Of course she's going to take your side. Well, what seems to be the problem? Surrounded by idiots, that's the problem. You hush. You lunar sect people are so depressing. Don't blame my sect for that. I'm depressing my sect for that. I'm depressing all by myself. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Anyway, Miss Carrie tasked us with clearing the rats out of the basement as a... What did she call it? A team building exercise. Yeah, that was it. It's as stupid as it sounds, but we can't agree on how to deal with these rats. I want to spare them. Stargirl over here wants to kill them. And I don't care. I... I don't think I have any suggestions on the best way to deal with rats. Oh good, the longer we argue, the longer these poor little creatures get to live. Oh no you don't, I'm going to smush every last one of them. Okay, that's a little messed up. I don't know, it seems like you're way too excited about murder to me. I wonder if they keep any booze down here. Me too, Lunar Initiate. What's added? Internal disputes or rats? Okay. Basement, you said, was where they were? Anglico question. The price of independence, solar sect, liberty, and the light of freedom. So solar sect seems to like life. Apparently moon sect, or stellar sect, sorry. You're the lunar sect. So it's like stars, sun, and moon, basically, are the three. You're, you're depressing and have a murder boner. You have a life boner and aren't depressing. And you're just like, I'm too old for this. Or I don't get paid enough for this. Which, completely fair. Okay, I think those are stairs right there. Okay, that's not where I want to go, I don't think. Is it just... I just have access to you right now. Bef mm, no, let's let's go down here. So, can you fight the rats, Reyna? Okay, that's... Are those rats or squirrels? Excuse me? Save your game? Save your game. Uh, thank you for the save reminder. Um, are you sure you wish to continue? Back away. Okay, we'll wait until we get the rest of the party back before I attempt that. I think doing it with just Reyna would probably be foolhardy at best. Those look like squirrels to me, though, not rats. Also, I hear them out here, which is interesting. Where are they? Kind of terrifying. The grave of a soldier fallen in the Great War. I wonder if this is one of those people I interred as a child. The people I interred? What does that mean? Uh-huh, you have nothing else to say? Nothing, it seems. Yeah, I I'm hearing the rat noises. Talindra Cemetery, where those who fought for both sides of what has come to be known as the Great War are buried. May the Storm Wizard Arinathan commend their souls unto Imperia. Weird spacing on that. Yeah, okay. All right, well, I'm just exploring this place just just cuz, basically. All of these say the same thing. Can I grave rob? Doesn't appear that I can grave rob. Man, this like I said, this church don't have nothing. Boring. Me out of here. All right. Let's go over this way and head back upstairs, I guess, and actually walk towards our objective because I need my party members back. Wait, I hear it here again, too. Why? Why do I hear it here? It's like the squeaky noises from the from the mice, the rats. Uh, all right. Well, just just let just let me get out of here. Why don't we? So I guess let's just go upstairs, because I imagine talking to Ariel maybe 
and gives us our party members back. Okay, boring. Nothing in here. Yeah, I just hear the mice everywhere. Maybe maybe the like audio messed up a little bit. Ostensibly, initiates and priests of the Empyrean faith are non-violent, but our founder, Arminathan the Storm Wizard, used violence, didn't he? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that checks out. Based off of my limited knowledge. So there's sun, there's moon. Where's Stellar? Hi. I hope the High Priest doesn't allow any more soldiers to run around in here like those brutes from Arcadia. Comes obliviously to self. Stove. Yeah, okay, move out of the way, please. Go. Still nothing to steal. Like, nothing at all. Kind of disappointing, man. Yeah, there's just, there's just nothing. I'm exploring all these rooms for, for nothing. Like, not even one treasure chest to at least make me feel like it was worth it. Alright, fine. Oh my god, this place is big. Jeez. Soldiers attacking Temple Talindra. What's the world coming to? Alright, you know what? You know what? Save. Um, yeah, sure, save over that. I'm going to quit and see if we can fix these th these mouse noises so continue no they're still there huh yeah, I don't know it, it doesn't feel like what's supposed to be happening unless this place is just overrun with rats there's rats in the walls and everything so wait did I talk to what's this world coming to I have to study hard if I want to become an initiate I'm from Cyrenthia I wonder if I can still join the solar sect all right, Erinathan, founder of the faith, Lord of Storms, sudden rise of the Norskov family. Okay, we're repeating some of the books now. So you said, study hard if I want to become an initiate. I'm from Cyrenthia, but I wonder if I can still join the Solar Sect. Okay, so the Solar Sect, I'm guessing, is the Tariq part. Don't you track any dirt in here? I mean, I, I imagine they would welcome you into their religion if you, you know, asked. Yeah, they have a bunch of w rooms in here. There's not a lot of stuff in them. Ah, uh, finally! Finally a reward for my efforts! A volatile trinket. That was... That was an accessory, wasn't it? It sure is! Okay, we have another one of those. I think that's the one that makes me have a chance to block damage? I might be wrong, though. I talked to you, right? Don't you track any dirt? Yeah, okay. We've spoken to you. Okay, have I finally found Ariel? Ooh, what of you? I like that. That's a pretty one. Princess Ariel, I thought I should check on you. Well, I'm fine. Leave me alone. Huh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't snap at you. You didn't do anything wrong. Well, aside from kidnapping me and ruining my wedding, anyway. Gage, the man I've fallen in love with, who I should be married to as we speak, was going to execute you. Did you really fall in love with him? I didn't really get that impression at the beginning. You were just kind of whatever to the wedding. He didn't listen to a word I had to say. He didn't care. I begged him to stop and he would have murdered you in cold blood. I've always known my fate. I'm little more than a pawn in my father's political scheming. Nobody puts it like that, but that's what it is. Even so, I managed to fall in love with Prince Gage in the short time we had been together. He was so handsome and noble and I come to believe he loved me too. Okay, so you did actually fall for him in that short period. And as it turns out, I'm just as much a pawn to him as I am to anyone else. I don't know what to do. Believe it or not, I can empathize with you. How could you? How could anyone? It's true. When I was young, I fell in love with someone that was not the man I thought he was. I thought I could change him, but there are some things in people that cannot be changed. What did you do after that? Life moves on, all on its own, your highness. The hurt fades away in time. But the trick to it is that it won't start to fade until you allow it to. Uh, I suppose that's true. Come, speak to the high priest with me. The sooner we do that, the sooner we can get you back home. Very well, I shall. Now that I've been betrayed by Gage, I find myself with a sudden craving to give someone a piece of my mind. The high priest seems like a good start. Uh, uh, do try to go easy on him, your highness. Yeah, Ariel's like, nope. 
I got my own agenda. I will yell at who I want to yell at. Okay, well... The, the rats are back. And Ariel's not in the party, surprisingly. So I, I can't go do that quest, I don't think. Oh well, we can get out of here. Lego. So, hello. I see you've changed back into your royal gown. If I'm going to be speaking to the high priest in an official capacity, I may as well look the part. Anyway, I wish I could see the look on Horatio's face when Prince Jackass tells me he just left Ariel here. Maybe they use mirrors? <laughs> you're still thinking about that. Alright, so you're the one I gotta talk to, I'm guessing. Now that I actually have Ariel with me. Alright, so what's up? Sister Reyna, at last you've returned. Evidently unharmed, I was beginning to worry. Only beginning to worry, Your Holiness? I find myself worrying all the time these days. More than usual, I mean. Is the princess with you? She is, and she's ready to speak with you now. Very good. It's been years, many years since last I saw her. Father is still bitter over our independence, I think. I have not been invited to Evanhard since the war, when Princess Ariel was but a toddler. Wonder if she will remember me. Do forgive my ramblings, Reyna. Please send her in. Of course, Your Holiness. Alright. Get on in here, Reyna. And may Arenathan forgive me for taking such drastic measures. Mm-hmm. Alright, the squad's all here. Your Excellency, now presenting Princess Ariel the f f Ariel the First Liriata of Evanhart. Princess Ariel, welcome. Please allow me to apologize for the unfortunate nature of our meeting. I've been apologized to already. I do not accept. Show me what you brought me here to see. Princess, please. No, Sister Reyna. Her Highness is more than entitled to her anger. We have certainly earned it. The situation, I presume, has been explained to you already. Norskov's plans to reunite the Three Kingdoms of Rin under his rule, and that Sirenthea will be subjugated along with Tariq. The allegations have been made, and I understand them well enough. I was told you can prove it. Not quite proof, Your Highness, but I do have evidence. Take this, an Arcadian message intercepted by one of our agents. It says something about a secret construction project in the ruins of Tarandor Cathedral. What is this, Madrin? Orders from Norskov himself, ordering the construction of a secret fortified harbor. You'll recognize the Empire's official seal, I'm sure. I do. We do not yet know the purpose of this project, but we know that it is being built without the consent of your father. There are many reasons why the Arcadian Empire might build a harbor, but only a few to have it done in secret behind your father's back. And how can I know these haven't been forged? Alas, you cannot. Norskov's seal would be difficult to replicate, but not impossible. I must ask that you trust us. All we ask is that you present these letters to your father so that he might investigate the matter himself. I see. What you're asking of me is to accuse my father's new allies of treasons based on a letter I cannot even verify. Do you even know what would happen to me if you're wrong? My relationship with my father will be ruined. My standing in the realm will be shattered. Ariel, please. This is the only way. No, it isn't. I'll help you, but I need proof. And the only way to prove this is to see it for myself. Ariel, you can't mean... I'm afraid I do. We'll go there, to this ruined cathedral, and find out exactly what is going on. I shall report anything nefarious to my father. Karina and Rowan will come with me, and perhaps Reyna as well. Ooh, another suicide mission? I'm in. I'm not. I did my part. I want my payment, and I'm done with this. Shush. That is my plan, Madrin. Will you support it? Ugh, it seems I have little choice, such as our desperation. So be it. I will muster what resources I can to aid you. As for your payment, Karina and Rowan, I shall double it. I just thought the suicidal part sounded fun. Guess I can take another one from the team for that kind of cash. 
Excellent. Then you must head to Terrandor with all haste before Norskov discovers our plans or before King Horatio's soldiers find you. Fine, but this had better be good. Entourage, let us depart. What? We're in our entourage now? What does that mean? I don't like the sound of it. Shut up. We're getting paid double. Yeah. Marjorie, I don't know about this. Neither do I. Go with them, sister. Keep them safe. Yeah, we need you for boss fights. I hope you at least have a fallback plan if we don't return, Majorin. If I had a fallback, we'd be doing that instead, Reyna. Alright, so we're gonna go here and verify it ourselves. Is there any guarantee that the king will even listen to you, though? I mean, he do evidently doesn't place much stock in his daughter, so would he is he even gonna listen to you? I doubt it. Alright, I guess we're off to Terrandor. Sounds dangerous, so we'd better make sure we're prepared. Modron said we should hurry, but I wouldn't be opposed to earning some extra coin and upgrading our gear before we go. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to save, first and foremost, before we go down there and fight, I don't know, the, the, the crazy rats? So... Alright, let's go take care of that, why don't we? It was down... no, it wasn't down this way. Was it this way? Yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly how in the world we got to it. Yeah, I think it was through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here, here's you two fighting about the rat problem. Mm-hmm. And yeah, here we go. Here's the staircases down. The staircases are kind of deceptively... Like, I don't know. It, it doesn't... I, I had... It took me a few seconds to realize this was even a staircase right here. I thought it was just a brick wall, basically. But, uh, yeah, it is a staircase. I can see how some people would maybe miss this. Save the game? Okay, I'm glad it, it did remind me again. Okay, so this is the one. Let's save over that. Yep, let's proceed. This is the point of no return, it said. Okay, is this gonna be like a billion rats? I guess. Apparently we don't get the option to save them. Oh god, they're massive. Um... Ooh, if only I had you... Ooh... No, 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 no. We need to swap. We need to swap. Next opportunity we get, I would say. Because if we can use your... Whatchamacallit attack, we can take them all out in one fell swoop. Of course, I guess I can do a pretty good job of... Taking them out like this. So... Like, if you Celestial Flare, that's another one down. Okay, yeah, that's not that bad. There's just four of them. Ow. Yeah, see, they don't even do that much damage. We're totally fine. We can save, um... We can save our, uh, meter for the, for the next, uh, attempt here. So... Let's just slash you. Would have been nice if you would, um... Let's swap in for Ariel there. Would have been nice if you had, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Crit there so we could kill the enemy. So yeah, now we have access to dirty tricks. What I'm guessing here is there's going to be another wave of them, because this is way too easy. There's got to be another wave of them, right? <clears throat> Gotta be. I refuse to think otherwise. Uh, yeah, sure, cannon it. Alright, are, are more enemies just going to run in? Or was that actually it? Uh, wow. Okay, no, that was actually it. I really didn't expect that to be the case. Boxes seem to have been deliberately stacked here to block a hidden exit. Okay, can I move them? Hmm, maybe this is something to do with this quest. I don't know. Let, let's go turn it in. Maybe they'll be like, how did the rats get in? And I'll be like, there's some boxes down there that looked kind of sus. <clears throat> Hello again, Miss Reyna. We still haven't sorted out our little mess here. Yes, well, I... I think I may have accidentally solved your problem for you, actually. Oh, good. What did you do? I hope you let those critters go. Not... exactly. Huh. You did kill them, didn't you? The stars eke out another win. Huzzah! Huzzah! They uh, attacked me in a big swarm, so I didn't have much choice. Winning on the technicality. What a stellar way of claiming victory. Doesn't matter. A win is a win. Praise the stars, losers. I am surrounded by idiots. Anyway, let's go tell Miss Carrie her task is finished. Let's not mention how this got solved. She's gonna make us do something else. 
Yeah, you guys didn't even do anything. Maybe I'll go speak with Miss Carrie myself. Uh, so we- yeah, Miss Carrie was... You were the one outside that yelled at Reyna, right? Like, you, di you didn't like Reyna, it seems? Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you. And just how did you manage to solve this little problem? Well, I, uh, that is, we... We killed them all! Praise the stars! Souls of the Star Lord! Huzzah! <laughs> okay, wow, you're kind of crazy. I see, and your solar sect compatriot was quite alright with this. I mean, it, it wasn't quite, I mean, we didn't exactly... Don't look at me. I was hoping if we just ignored this problem, it would go away. I think you three aren't telling me something. No, no, I mean, come on, we wouldn't, uh, lie about rats. Come now, it's not proper for those in traveling at the- in training at the Holy Center of the Empyrean Faith to fib about such things. Out with it. Huh, we didn't do anything. We were arguing about how to deal with this when Miss Reyna came along and solved it for us. Is that so? And there she is now. Meddling in my lessons again, are you, Miss Reyna? <laughs> Good day, Miss Carey. Yes, but it was quite by accident, I assure you. Hmm, just because you're the High Priest's favorite doesn't mean you can go intruding into the affairs of the rest of us. It's really nothing like that. Alright, you three. You scurry off and find something productive to do. I'll figure out what to do with you later. Yes, ma'am. Well, even though I don't approve of your meddling, the rats were a problem and you took care of them, yes? Well, you see, we had gone to the basement and this horde of rats attacked me, so... Now, now, I didn't ask for your life story, Ra Miss Reyna. You did work and it deserves compensation. Here you are. Miss Carrie, that's kind of you, but it really isn't necessary. Oh, don't think for one second I'll have you around here doing chores for free, trying to curry favor with all the bigwigs around here. I had to adjust my mic there. Pyrian Edge, reluctantly given up by a grumpy Lunar Priestess in Talindra, decreases damage but greatly increases retribution damage. What does that mean? It's a weapon for you? Decreases damage but greatly increases retribution damage. That's your one of your attacks, right? So it decreases the damage you do, but greatly increases damage of his particular skill? Thank you, Miss Carey. We'll try to put this to good use. Far away from here, I hope. Good day, Miss Reyna. Yeah, I wasn't sure at first if it just lowered the damage that Reyna specifically takes. Or what. But, uh... Okay, Empyrean Edge. Reluctantly given up. Decreases damage, but greatly increases retribution damage. Okay, so yeah, you do way more damage with that, but you don't do as much damage with everything else. I'm interested to see how much greatly increases is. I won't put it on now, because I don't want to put it on and then, like, forget I have it on and be like, Why does Reyna do no damage? Because I could totally see myself doing that. Alright. Um, I think that's everything here that I care about, right? I feel like we explored most of the stuff here. So, was Fort Nasir where we actually have to go next? I remembered we needed to go to another fort. Ow! Hey, watch it, you ass- Hey, watch it, you astoundingly beautiful woman. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm in such a hurry, I didn't even see where I was going. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, are you? I'll have to be, and I'm sorry. I wish I wasn't in such a hurry, but I really have to go. If I ever meet you again, I'll make up for it, I promise. I really am. I, I, I really am sorry. Farewell. Wow, you're sitting here- you're sitting here ogling another woman while Reyna's right there, Rowan? I- I'm- I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna assume all pirates are horny in this world. It just comes with the territory. You can't be a pirate unless you're horny. Alright, let's get out of here. So... Darendor is northeast of here, north of Riverton. Oh. Oh. Well then, what's down here? I'm guessing I don't want to go there yet, huh? Alright, well let's uh, go back the other way then. How did I get out of here from the northern exit? Hmm. Okay, do, do we have to leave this way? Oh, wait, there's... Can you... Oh. Oh, there's just a little bridge right there that you can... Okay, it didn't... I thought that would just take me back into Talindra. 
But no, it's just a little bridge you can actually use to walk back across here. Okay, that was my bad. That was my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, what is this? Can I... Copper Road? Do I want to go in here? Uh... Possibly no. Um, I will save my game before we walk up on those jackasses. Okay, that was weirdly difficult to find out where to go. <laughs> I just, it was just a little thing. I knew I was missing something, but I thought the, the, the temple itself would have like a back exit or something. We've been letting too many trespassers get away with out paying a single ducat for their crimes. You're getting lazy. I want anyone that dares sit foot on our territory attacked on sight. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Uh, Rowan, we better not go this way. I've heard of these guys. They're a band of Tariki veterans that the government couldn't afford to pay after the Great War. So they formed this rebellion. Heard all the good people left, and now it's just a bunch of robbers. They're serious fighters, though. We should avoid taking these guns on. Okay. Well, I'm leaving, then. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think I was supposed to be over there anyway. So, can we get back to the other place now? So, we have to go through there to get back to that place, but... Can... Yeah, we can walk back through Fort Defiance, and I can go turn in that one quest for giving the, uh military artifact or whatever to the mayor over here so I can do that good stuff cool cool so let's go hit up the mayor hey mayor I, I got your thing so that you can raise the taxes on your your poor poor citizens welcome back Rowan my boy say hey, I don't suppose you've stumbled on any artifacts sure have will this work oh, Rowan you old pirates really are a wonder Former pirate. Yes, yes, let's see. My stars, could this be Captain Arcoli's helmet? She was the hero of the battle, sacrificing her life to save her troops. I believe, this will, I believe this will work beautifully to raise the spirits of the people of this town to support her little endeavor. Thank you, Rowan. Give me the honor of telling Bartolo we'll be getting through with his memorial project after all, won't you? Sure thing, Mayor. I'll be happy to hear it. Memorial for the Fallen. Alright, Bartolo. Here you go. Must be some way I can come up with the money for that memorial. You don't have to. You managed to convince the mayor to support your project. Really? Is that so? Well, I have to say I wasn't expecting that. Got him to find you sh finally changed his mind. Uh, just donations. Don't worry about the details, Bart. It's done. Donations, I see. Rowan... You did that? No. Not exactly. I just convinced people to do it. Here, I want you to have this. I've hung on to it since the war ended, but I think you can do some good with it. Stormcatcher, a relic, speed plus five. The ancients believed you could swing a magic net to catch lightning. Thanks, Bart. We'll do our best. There we go. And that's another quest down as well. All right, so let's get out of here. So as we saw, I do believe I need need to go to this area over here. So back through Fort Defiance. I don't think there was any... Yeah, that was my last uh, quest that I had. Uh, stocked, I guess. Alright, let's sleep here. I do need to take a nap-nap, so. Um, merchant's bed, white wine, grilled swordfish, and snails. Purchase. Yeah. There's actually an achievement for basically, um, eating, like, have, eating all the food and having the best bed in an inn, and I'm like, why would you not? Money is so easy to come by in this. Like, I'm, I'm filthy stinking rich, man. I don't need to save. Not yet. I'm good. So, the other question is, do we need healing items? No, we have 15 lesser heals. I did load up on those at one point. So, we are good there. Can go ahead and get out of here. Enter world map. There we go. Cool. So, back this way to Riverton. So, this is new, right? Hey there. Uh, uh-huh. That's, that's it? Just, hey there? Got anything useful to say about this place? Uh, well, I don't rightly know. Just what were you hoping, I'd say. Like, uh, where's the cheapest tavern? How about a decent inn? Any work available? Oh, nope. Don't know a damn thing about this town. Just stumbled drunkenly here this morning, actually. Pretty, pretty though, isn't it? Okay, great, thanks. Welcome to Riverton. Don't do anything stupid. We probably won't arrest you. Probably. 
Kidnappings, riots, unrest. Hard to tell what's rumor and what actually happened. Okay, so you said don't do anything stupid, so I'm gonna go in here and rob the barracks. Admiral Alrin commends the navy from the castle at the north side of town. He was one of the commanders during the siege 20 years ago. Alright. Uh, nothing interesting so far. Except the puppy. And the puppy. I, I always see these chests and think they would open for me, but they're, they, they don't. Sir Riverton's local garrison. Back during the Great War, we were an integral part of the supply lines from whirlwind to parts south. The Arcadian fortress tried to siege Riverton to deny Cyrenthi and Tariq supplies. But the siege was so costly for them, it basically ended the war right there. They never recovered from the loss. Okay, so you guys are a big deal. Uh, excuse me? Well, how do you guys have machinery? Like, this is like a... I don't know, this this is a, is a big old machine. That's like higher tech than I would have assumed for this world. I mean, I can understand the muskets and like, you know, levers and switches and stuff, but... I, I don't know, man, that looks like a supercomputer over there. Alright, who's in jail? I'll just step in here, citizen, unless you want to make your visit a permanent one. Well, you only got two cells. You really want to take one of them up with me? Door cannot be opened at this time. But there's somebody in there. Oh well. Go up. <gasps> Rob! Hopefully they don't get mad at me for robbing. Jim, sundries, and delicacy. There wasn't anything else, right? Yeah, I'll just do a quick scan. I didn't see anything. Alright, back outside. Wait, are these treasure chests? They look like it, but I can't interact with them, so... It's, it's kind of just a pile of garbage. Hello. I'm gonna visit a haunted cave. There's one near Oceanvale. Just follow the coast south. If you do visit it, let me know what kinds of ghosts live there. I always wondered. Caveman ghosts? I mean, who haunts a cave? <laughs> Ever been to the market in Evanhart? It's the biggest market in the world, you know. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... You're walking. Hello there, citizen. What a peaceful day in Old Riverton. Come on, do it. Come on, it's okay. It'll probably be that... It probably won't be that gross. What are you doing? Are you gonna make him eat a worm or some shit? Making chicken noise. Bok, bok, bok. Want me to eat worms? Yuck, I'll eat snails like any good Serenthian child, but not worms. Ew. Ew. They're trying to make you eat a worm. That's nasty. They're apparently high in protein, as most bugs are, but the concept of actually eating them is pretty nasty. Ah, Riverton's a great place to put the port. Clear skies, warm air, weather's nice, and the women. My god, man, the women! This guy's a creep. Yeah, I know, it seems like all pirates are. Well, not, not a you're a sailor. Maybe it's just anybody that, that, that goes out on a boat is horny. Three cheers for the fearsome foursome. Heroes of the Great War, all of us. Hip, hip. As a... Uh... Ah, come on, you're not giving it to me. What's wrong? I don't know, it's a little on the self-indulgent side, don't you think? Yes, but that was the point. Besides, it's not the same without... Uh, uh, besides, it's not the same without Geo here. Well, same or not, Geo isn't here, is he? He needs to get over whatever his problem is, just as you need to need to get over his not being here. Don't you... Don't you talk to me like that, you cranky old coot? Coot? That's it, I'm gonna smack you up just like the old days, Rosa. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, let's chill. All right, you idiots, pipe down. We got a visitor. Eh, so what? I get lost, son. This is the great and honorable esteemed veterans of the Great War meeting. Quest added the the the, the Gevgu. <laughs> the, the Gevgu. All right, get out of here, bub. You're interrupting. Marco, Marco, stop biting off everyone's head. Besides, we're down a member now. Maybe you want to join us, eh, Sonny? Ah, oh, looks just a little too young to be a vet. You serving the war, boy? I did, actually. Joined the Navy when I was 15. Lied about my age. Don't call me boy. Got enough of that back then. Hey, you call everyone kid. That's different. It's cute when I do it. Whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We can't just replace Geo like that just because he stopped showing up. Something's wrong with him. Bah, he abandoned us. We abandoned him. That's all... That is the way of the great and honorable esteemed veterans of the Great War. Marco, you blasted fool. That's the opposite of the way of the great and honorable whatever. Why'd you make our name so long anyway? We're random wandering do-gooders, you know. Maybe we can check on Geo for you. No, we're not. <laughs> great and honorable esteemed veterans of the Great War requires no assistance from interlopers. Maybe that ain't a half bad idea, actually. Geo said he wanted to be alone, but maybe he just meant from us. 
Oh, fine. Go check on him for all I care, but make it snappy. We've got club business to attend to. Our next order of business, bake sale. <laughs> the writing in this game is so funny. I love it. It's just the right amount of serious and comedic. We're trying to stop a war. We do not have time for this kid. See, you did it again. Wow, you really do. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of a hypocrite, Rowan. Royal family is awfully reclusive. My Princess Ariel is barely even less Castle Evanhart, from what I hear. Hardly anyone knows what she even looks like. Uh-huh. Anything to steal? Anything to steal? I'm waiting for Rowan to, like, get on someone's case about stealing. Then I'll really feel like a hypocrite. I'll be like, really, Rowan? You of all people? If you travel much, you're bound to come across some old battlefield. Most such places have been picked clean by looters. Yeah, I've already been there. Oh, well, there, you're an adventurer too? Plenty of spoils out there, and then some for us all, I say. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Hilarious. Hilarious, huh? Very funny. Alright, I'm out. Let's go check out what the rest of town has for us, why don't we? Old ladies! Mr. T drearily. Oh, I suppose I should go down to the river and scrub some laundry today. Grandson's an explorer. He's been to Arcadia, Tariq, Ang Angelico, you name it. Right now, he's resting up in Whirlwind Village. Wanted to go see the ruins of Terrandor. You tell it's haunted. That's my grandson. I'm so proud of him. Wife imports exotic fruit from Tariq and An Angelico. Sells it at the market here in town. Bananas, mangoes, all kinds of stuff. Alright, they got all the tropical stuff. Um, nothing to steal, unfortunately, so, um, bye-bye. Thank you for your service. Oop, get out the door, please. I'm having trouble there. Alright, what's in here? Hello, I'm here to rob. I'll tell my dad, but I think I want to be an accountant when I grow up. I don't know, it seems like... Oh, well, let's see what he says. Boy, he's gonna grow up to be a sword-toting lunatic like his old man. Ain't that right, boy? <laughs> nope. You have a Gohan on your hands. Sundries? Kitties sleep on bed. That looks like my kitty. Oh, my, my little orange kitty. Alrighty, so out. Now, up here, hello. What are you kidding me? Someone kidnapped a princess like King Horatio's middle daughter, that princess? Yeah, in the middle of her own wedding ceremony, the king's seat. The king sent out almost every soldier he has to look for. Crazy, man. Hope they catch the guy. Ah, kids these days don't read enough. Back in my day, all we did was read. Hey, man, I read. You mind? I'm trying to read here. Hem, run, spot, run. Yeah, I remember, um... I always thought the kids don't read enough argument was very stupid when I was younger. Because I had a way higher reading level than I was supposed to at my age. Like, I was reading at, like, you know, a high school level and, like, elementary and middle school and stuff. And it was because I had been playing so many JRPGs that I, quite frankly, had no means playing at those particular points in time. So I just had a higher reading comprehension level. So that was funny. Because I was like, I don't read a lot. And they're like, well, how's your reading comprehension so high? I'm like, video games. And of course, my old elementary teachers were like, video games, they just rot your brain. Desert delicacies. How to use coffee and everything. Fall of the Arcadian Empire. Recovering from the unthinkable. Riches to rags. Civil Last stand, Admiral Leo Alruns. Desperate defense of Riverton. Million dead. A brief history of the Great War. I feel like I'm probably... Some of these are probably repeating and I just don't realize it. This library ain't half bad. Used to be a bunch more down in Tariq, but they mostly got destroyed during the war. That sucks. Loss of knowledge is always bad. Thanks, Ryu. Uh, kings, emperors, and presidents. <laughs> kings, emperors, and presidents? There's presidents in this world? A vast kings and queens of the Central Sea. Okay, I'm not gonna read them all. It seems like most, for the most part, the bookcases don't give me anything crazy interesting. So, I guess, and I've seen re repeats now, and, you know, I might just be reading the same book titles over and over and just don't realize it. So I'll hold off. Uh ho ho, Riverton really is the best for shopping. I've seen more travelers recently coming just to visit the market. I thought somebody said the some other place had the best bazaar. But maybe they did say Riverton. Alright. There's a little house over there I haven't been in yet. Uh-huh. 
I'm here to rob. Don't say anything, cat. You saw nothing. Ooh, side quests. Oh, is, are you Marco? Or Geo, sorry. Ugh, who said you could enter my home? Get out of here. Take it easy, mate. Your friends from your, uh, club sent us. My friends, what are they doing hiring mercenaries now? Why didn't they come themselves? The Tariki one said he did, but you wanted to be left alone. Well, he was right, I do. Now go away. Listen, I don't know what your problem is, but get over it. Your friends are worried about you. Uh, Rowan, would you mind letting me speak to him alone, if you would? Er, sure thing, Reyna. Quest updated. The Gevgu. I apologize for my friend there. He can be a little rough sometimes. I'm Reyna, a priestess of the stars. Well, I don't care who you are or what sect you come from. I'll accept your apology if you get out of my damned house already. If you really want us to leave, we will. And you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. But if you do decide to talk, I'll listen. The stars don't judge, and sometimes it helps if the person listening is a stranger. Fine. I don't care if you stay, just leave me alone. I just updated the Gevgu. You said you could stay as long as I don't have to speak with you. Uh... On this shelf is an old sword broken into three pieces. Yo, what is this over here? Oh, you're poking around my things? Let me see. Oh, that. It's nothing. My comrade's sword shattered in combat. You've kept it all this time? Just didn't have the heart to throw it away, I suppose. Took it from his dying hands. Promised to give it to his wife, but I never found her. Fool's errand, I fear. Didn't even get her name from him before he... Before he... I'm sorry, Geo. It's not all that badly broken, is it? Could it not be repaired? Ah, what for? Let it be shattered. I failed to save the man, and I failed to return it to his wife. You think your friend would want you to leave it broken on a shelf regardless? Take it. Repair it. What do I care? This thing has just been collecting dust. I could use the shelf space anyway. Well, maybe I will then. Geo's broken sword, a broken relic of the Great War. Quest updated the Gevgu. Rowan, there's a blacksmith here in Riverton. Do you mind if we pay her a visit? I don't know. You're the one in charge, Reyna. It's not my call. Why bother with this, though? It's complicated. Oh, well, not like I'd say no to you even if it was my call. Let's go. Hey, how come we've got time for this crap when Reyna wants to do it, but not when I do? Oh, wait. I know why. Shut up, kid. Again with the kid! Yeah, it's because Rowan is the horny. That's why. Alright, so... Uh, ooh, hidden house. Just kind of obscured behind this tree. Even has a, a loot in here for me. Thanks to the delicacy. What is an alliance with Arcadia going to do? Drag us to war every time they want to reconquer some podunk village up there. Ridiculous. Let them handle their business and let us handle ours. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing we're going to repair the sword, maybe get it as a reward, and it's an alternate weapon for Rowan, possibly? My wife has some strong views on politics. She wants to go to Evanhart to petition the king, but I think it'll just end up a shouting match. Now that woman can do some yelling, believe me. But even she can't uh, out-shout the king. Uh, Mama Shelley seems mad a lot lately, but Mama Ella says she isn't mad at us. Oh, look at the gay couple. How cute. Bye-bye, you two. Alright, so... Uh... Where...? There's some strange goings on in the abandoned Terrandor Cathedral up north. Wonder what's going on. Uh, the blacksmith. Are you the blacksmith? No. Because I saw a sword right there, so I was like... Eh? But no. Bananas, get your bananas here. Ripe, delicious, technical, classified as berries. Hey, pal, want a banana? Lots of potassium. I'm good, thanks. Okay, this is a place we can actually go. Dedicated to Elias Perez, hero of the realm, may he never be forgotten. Yeah, the kerning on that text is really odd. Not sure what's going on with that. Marceline, are you frittering your time away painting again? Frittering? What exactly would you have me do? I couldn't waste my time if I wanted to. Sure, I see dust accumulating on these tables, Marcy. Uh, how many times do I have to tell you not to... Uh, 
Uh, how many times do I have to tell you not to call me that? It's Marceline. Marceline! Besides, what do you care if the shelves collect dust? At least there'd be something on them. What kind of museum doesn't have anything to exhibit? Marcy, we've been through this. Am I going to be stocking the museum with artifacts? Albert, let me search for the artifacts lost to the Great War. You don't need me here. What's the harm in trying? Marceline, we may not have much left here, but we must attend to what there is. The artifacts are lost. Besides your mother, Star's got her soul. Asked me to keep you out of trouble. Going off on such an adventure sounds like just the sort of thing she wanted me to protect you from. I'm sorry, Marcy. Truly I am, but I can do no such adventures. Let alone afford to fund them. See to the dust, won't you? I'd say you're a new party member if you had a portrait, but you don't. Uh, hello there. Welcome to the Serenthian Historical Society... Society's Riverton chapter, the last remaining of the original six. Sorry if our shelves are a bit bare these days. I hope you'll still enjoy yourself. Marcy will be happy to tell you of Serenthia's history. <sighs> Marceline's task. Okay, so I was going to wonder if this connected to the sword I'm going to repair, actually, since you specifically want things left over from the Great War, and this is from the Great War. This woman doesn't seem to notice your approach. She squints at her painting with an annoyed look on her face. Excuse me. Oh, whoa, we actually have visitors. Welcome? Not that there's much to look at. Yes, I wanted to ask about that. This museum hardly seems to have a point to it. Do the tax ducats of my kingdom not pay for this place? Well, all you're paying for is the rent and my wages, and I'm pretty sure the latter isn't bankrupting anyone. Most museums shut down or turn into empty shells like this one after the Great War. We're one of the few still open. I see. Why don't you have anything to exhibit? What does the war have to do with it? Well, when Arcadia occupied Tariki and Serenthian cities, they looted a lot of our art and precious artifacts. That's awful. Ooh, every time I learn something new about Arcadia, I get angry. Eh, don't get too upset over it. Serenthia and Tariq did the same thing to Arcadia when we invaded to end the war. Most of that stuff ended up in Castle Evanhart. Yeah... Huh, and every time I learn something new about my father, I get sad. Your father? Er, uh, nothing, for could I said anything. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to get some of these artifacts back somehow. You can't do that from here, though. Besides, my dead mother and Albert are both right. I'm not an adventurer, I'm an artist. I have a splendid idea. What if we made an attempt to retrieve some of these artifacts for you? Ariel. I think this is important. I can't afford to pay you or anything. Of course we'd never accept money for this good deed. Ariel. This is for my kingdom. I want to help. We're rich anyway, Rowan. Shut up. Wow. Well, listen, I don't have any authority here, and I really doubt you're going to find them anyway. Nobody knows where they are. But if you bring back any artifacts, I know I'd be grateful. Maybe even stodgy old Albert will crack a smile. The thought of those precious things just rotting away in some cellar or hanging on some Arcadian war profiteer's walls, well... I'm sure they feel the same way about the art in Evanhart. I'm going to make this right, somehow. I need a list of the missing artifacts posted here on the desk. The items are missing, but I do have some clues about them. Thanks for at least looking. That by itself makes me feel a bit better. Come along, Rowan. We have a new quest. Marceline's task. Okay, you said on the desk. Uh, you have a list. Okay, the Evanharts. Guy de Bois. Rumored to be in a bustling Serenthian city. Lost somewhere in Eastern Tariq. We're to be in a shop somewhere near Arcadia. We're to be in the attic of an Arcadian village. Rumored to be been lost somewhere in rural Synthia. And rumored to be kept in a fortified Tariqi position. Okay, so they're spread across the world. This is a quest that's going to take us a fair bit of time to, to finish up. Alright, so now I just want to find the blacksmith before we end this episode off. Fish, fresh fish, we catch him, you buy him. Hello, Riverton's Market is famous for its variety of fruits and vegetables. There are a lot of fertile... there's a lot of fertile land around here. Okay, there's also the shop right here. You hear the rumor? Say Princess Ariel was kidnapped by a drunkard and a little girl. Yep. Sure was. New wares. Oh, cool, we can buy the better heels now. I'll buy five of them. And I have a bunch more stuff that I have stolen to sell. Uh, yep. And boom. Good stuff. Alright, anything else for me to steal? Can I just steal back the stuff I just got? I mean, I just sold you? Okay, free heal. Thank you. Oh yeah, the kid. 
My mommy's running the store right now since daddy has to go to Fort Des... Def... Um, Fort Deference? Fort Definance? I don't remember. <laughs> you tried, kid. You, ch you tried. Alright, so... I'm surprised you went for deference over, you know, like, defiance isn't that hard of a word. <laughs> but deference, I would, I would say that's like, I don't know, a harder word, I guess? Or at least one that's less common. Uh-huh. Ooh, downstairs. Hello. Or a gunsmith, but making swords is my real passion. How much call for that these days? Uh-huh. I've seen a few characters that use swords. Hey there, folks. What can I do for you? Good day. I have something of a special request, actually. I was wondering if it would be possible to reforge the blade of this old sword. Alright, let's have a look. Shattered right in three pieces, eh? Well, if you don't want the whole thing melted down, well, it'll have a nasty scar. It won't be fit for combat. I reckon you ought to just get yourself a new one. Well, this is something of an heirloom, so I'd really like to have it repaired, scars and all. As you'd have it, miss. Rush order, I take it. Bring it down to Mateo downstairs. Let him know it's a rush. He don't get to work with swords much these days. I reckon he'll be pleased to see a blade rather than a musket. It'll still cost you, though. Of course. Thank you. This is probably a frivolous expense, but I feel like this might be worth the indulgence. There's less money for booze, I guess. Yeah, you don't need any. Eh, <laughs> well, maybe that alone will make this worth the trouble. Yeah, I agree. The Gevgu. Quest updated. The Gebgu will never not be funny to me. Hey there, shop's upstairs, folks. Unless you're looking to watch me hammer for a couple more hours. It's music once you get used to it, huh? Actually, we were told you could repair a broken heirloom sword. Is that true? Aye, depending on what the damage is, I should be able to. Mind if I have a look? By all means. Uh-huh. Fixing this up for the sake of sentimentality more so than functionality, I hope. Won't be pretty, but I can put it back together at least. Shine it up some. It'll cost them... Say 25 ducats for the forge and another five to make it shine. What do you say? Deal. Action will cost... Y I'm, I'm positive, believe me. Sounds wonderful. I'll take it. Huzzah! Try to get it done quick. Get her just wait here. Oh, I'll payment up front if you please. Of course, here you are. Yeah, the economy seems nuts. I just have so much money. Probably because of how much I explore. There we are, not too shabby. If I do say so myself, here you go. Thank you. I'm sure the owner will be very happy to see it. Trouble at all, miss. Have yourself a good one now. Let's return this to Geo. The Gevgu. Alright. So once I finish this up, uh, we'll go ahead and end this episode off. Razor Blades, Book Journeyman, and Bronze. Decreases damage, but increases bleeding damage. Well, I do want to buy that because it's unique. And I do definitely want to buy that. And sure, we'll buy some bronze as well. I'll buy six. I don't know if we'll need that much, but... Okay, we can't do the new crafting. Oh! Hey, reforged blade! We need a warrior stone, though. So I could make this if I had a warrior stone. Well, that would be much better for you. Um, yep, we need warrior stone, archer stone, sorcerer stone. Yeah, I am out of all of these things, but... Okay, I need two more bronze, actually, to finish off all those upgrades. So let me just go ahead and buy that now. There we go. So now when I get the stones for beating up elite enemies, I can just get that immediately. Let's check this, just so I don't forget. I know this is a lot. Probably gonna be a little long of an episode, but... Hello there. Tensions may be high, but you can always soothe your soul with some classics here in Thean Dishes. Have some snails! Have you tasted Arcadian cuisine? Vile stuff. All salt pork and boiled potatoes and everything else is pickled. Cheer up, ma'am. Have another drink. I don't know how I feel about this alliance with Arcadia. Serenthea's navy has served the king and only the king for so long. Will we, will we still be the royal Serenthean navy if we sail in the name of the Arcadian emperor? Do they even understand our naval traditions? Don't like it. Neither do my men. Just got back from Ishtala. My regiment's finally done escorting all those diplomats around. Did they accomplish anything? Nope. Happy sigh. Guard this. Escort that. Stand here and look intimidating. Where's the glory? My sword hasn't seen the outside of its scabbard in months. Yeah. But do you really want to be itching for war? 
Oh, you get out of here. Prepared steals takes a great deal of concentration. Bye. I'm gonna go steal. There's nothing to steal. Nothing up here, really. Color me shocked. I am shocked. Okay. Whatever. Let me uh, just get out of here and go turn the sword back into our friend. I'll just turn himself while checking the produce. Did I check this house? Oh god, yeah, there was some stuff I didn't check over here. That's right. Oh, there's so much to do. Okay, at least there's nothing in this house. So we're, we're good. We got that going for us. Alright, what do you got to say? Gadia sure has been acting weird lately. Heard they took a whole platoon of soldiers out the temple to Lindra. Not to question our king, but I sure hope he knows what he's doing allying with them. Alright. Okay, this is the last house, I think. What is this? Battle pro- Oh, this is just the normal shop. So I can buy battle prowess if I want now. I don't need to, though. If you look carefully, you can find neat little things to take from people's houses. I mean, yeah, it's technically stealing, but sharing is caring, right? And stealing is feeling. Yeah. I like your attitude, lady. <laughs> okay, so we have a character that supports our stealing and robbing all the people of this nation. Like I said, it's the hero tax. We're going to prevent a war. We deserve to steal people's stuff. It's a bread here. Everything from hard tack to brioche. Try your specialty, the soldier's delight. Great for traveling. An old-fashioned raisin bread. Keeps you going on a long march. It's quite popular with the troops stationed here during the Great War. All right. Bye-bye, bye. So now I have checked out everything. So we just need to go back into the inn, right? And then it was the back room over here. Hey. Oh, wait. Whoops, no. We gotta go back to Geo's house. Damn it. That's right. Yeah. We don't turn into you guys yet. So, I'm guessing I'm... I, I don't know. I'm keeping the reforged blade or something? So, wait. I, I, I did get the blade, right? I'm, I'm doubting myself now. Uh, Geo's sword repaired. There's a nasty scar. Okay. Geo's house in Riverton. Where, where was this? Um, it was one of these, right? Yeah, okay, cool. You look like Santa with that outfit. Oh, you snuck up on me again. Stop that. Oh, I'm sorry. But I do have something for you. You got tired of lugging my garbage around. Find a scrap heap to throw it in. I don't want it. Not exactly. Here, have a look. So you fixed it up after all, did you? Oh, you can tell where they smith the pieces back together. Things that are damaged like this can't be perfectly mended. They'll always have scars. But that's okay. I think they give it character. Scars aren't anything to be ashamed of. Did all that just to get me to rejoin the stupid veterans club? Such a waste of time. Did it because it's a shame to leave something so broken if it can still be fixed. Whether you rejoin the order is up to you. Uh, tell them I'll be there. If you're heading down to the inn again, that is. Let me just gather myself first. Take all the time you need, Chio. Alright, cool. The Gevgu. Now we can go finish this quest off and end this episode. I did cut a lot of stuff out earlier when I was lost in the cathedral, so... I guess it's not the end of the world, but, uh... I felt like I was... This, this episode was getting too long. Alright, so... Hi. Alright, let's try it again. Loud and proud for the great honorable esteemed veterans of the Great War. Hip hip! Huzzah, hippo. Huzzah, hip- Holy crap, it's those interlopers from before. Oh, is that so? Didn't get enough interloping the first time, did you? Back for more? We've been all over town trying to help you out, knock it off with the interloper stuff. Yeah, yeah, help us how. You folks ever get around to speaking with Geo? What's his deal? Let's hear it. What thinks... What? Thinks he's too good for the great and honorable esteemed veterans of the Great War now? Is that it? No, it isn't. But I think he'd rather tell you himself. Geo. Hello, everyone. It wasn't anything like that, Marco. There you are, Gio. You got a lot to answer for bending us like that. Shut your trap, Marco. Let the man speak. Ugh, I never meant to abandon you, just hearing you all swapping war stories, talking about the glory of the old days. I watched my friends and comrades ripped apart by cannon fire. Tried so hard for so long to let it go, but I... I don't know if I can. You, you don't... You don't need me holding you back. Holding us back? Oh, Geo, it's not like that. I hear it too, you know, the screams. I mean, watching your friend shot full of holes bleeding out beside you. 
Yeah, y'all got PTSD, and I'm, I'm guessing there's not a lot of therapists in town to help with this sort of thing. I've just tried not to think about it. Wait, all of you are dealing with this? Really? Here in the great and honorable esteemed veterans of the Great War? Seems that way, Marco. Me too. Come on back, Gio. Your chair's still there. Looks like we got other things to talk about, eh? No, oh, what a wholesome quest. Alright. I, I will, thank you. That was This was your doing, wasn't it? We just fixed the sword. Gio's the one that found the strength to confront this. Oh, stop it with the modesty, miss. Here, you brought our friend back and looks like you did some good. Besides just that. Here, please accept this as a token of our esteem. Well, you really don't have to... I don't know, I insist. Great and honorable esteemed veterans of the Great War always pay their debts. And the way I see it, we owe you. Take this. Starry Sigil. Spell power plus three. Symbol of power to the old celestial order before the storm wizard consolidated the Empyrean faith. Set yourselves all full-fledged member of the great and honorable... <laughs> Even those of you who aren't veterans. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just happy we could help. Same here, miss. Maybe it's time to stop regaling each other with war stories and start talking about, well, something a little deeper. We should get back to what we were doing. I think we did some good here, though. Thanks for humoring me, Merwin. This is your party, Reyna. I'm just taking point. You're welcome either way, though. I'm surprised Karina didn't have something to say about that. <laughs> Alright, well, with that, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Rise of the Third Power off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.